I wish Michael would call. I wish Michael hadn't asked Rachel to go meet him at the waterfront in the first place. It's my fault. How do you figure that? Rachel was so nervous about throwing us this engagement party, Jake, that she was looking for any excuse to get out of it. It's nobody's fault. Nothing is wrong. Mom is fine. Sure she is, and I'm gonna brain her when she gets back from making us all worry like this. Mom? It's... 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 Yeah. Hey. Amanda, hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. How's your foot? Oh, uh, it's a lot better. Grandma, how you doing? What are you doing good to home? See you. Hi, mm, hi, I sweets. come bearing gifts and good tidings, and I've got great news about Marley. Jake. He's going to be all right, isn't he? I can't tell you that. But you got to him in time. You can stop the bleeding. You won't know and... anything until he's stabilized. That's a long way off. Stand back, please. Ryan, Ryan, they don't know anything yet. Let's just let them take care of him. Ryan! Is this the guy? No. Son, I gotta get to the hospital. Ryan, Ryan, give me a keys. I'm driving. You have got to calm down. How? My brother is signet. He's mixed up with Carl Hutchins, and I may have just gotten him killed. Rachel, are you all right? Oh, boy, am I glad you found me. Did you fall? Are you hurt? I think... I think somebody hit me. What do you mean, you think? My head. Um... I, I'm not, not really clear on what happened the last few minutes. What time is it? I don't know. Nine, after nine. Oh, brother, I've really been out a long time. Um... You want to sit down, maybe something? I, I I think somebody was with me, Michael, right before you got here. Some? Did you see who it was? No, my vision was blurry. And... You didn't see their face? You're right. I have to sit down. Okay, look, I've got my car right over around the pier there. Come on, I'm going to take you to a hospital get no, you checked out. No, no. Yes, I go I'm home. taking you to a hospital. Home, okay. All right, all right. I'm not going to argue with you. Okay, just come on. Look, oh, are, brother. Are you, are you cold? No, I'm fine. Okay, just lean on me. All right. Mm -hmm. Believe this happened. I feel... Don't worry about it. No, I feel responsible. I mean, you came down here because of me. I knew what happened. I got mud. That's what happened. We're going home. Delta is changing Stephen into his pajamas. So, what's the good news about Marley? It's private, Jake. Now, would someone please tell me what's going on here, and why are you dressed up, Paulina? Jamie, we didn't think you'd be back for a week. I'd like to get a straight answer, please. Someone? Rachel was throwing a party for Paulina and me, and Michael Hudson called and asked her to come down to the waterfront. And Rachel isn't back yet, and we would say... Amanda, since here... you're the only one who isn't talking, maybe you could tell me what's going on? Jake and Paulina are engaged. This is their party. You can't be serious. Jamie, I know it's sudden, but let me just sudden. explain. Is that all you have to say? We're in love, Jamie. I'm starting over. I, I hope that you'll give me an opportunity to show that I'm a changed man. I'm really looking forward to being a member of this family. Maybe, well, maybe in time we can become friends. I heard our prayers have been answered. Hi, oh, no, okay, good to see you. Actually, I'm not due here until tomorrow morning, but I just couldn't stay away. <laughs> well, we just got word those horrible charges against you were dropped. Everyone. 
got a gunshot to the abdomen, massive bleeding, and we're losing blood pressure. Where's Dr. Simonton? Surgery. Let's get another IV started on him right away. Let's see your blood pressure. BP 60 palp and falling fast. Oh, brother, we're losing it. Let me borrow your blood pressure. I can't That's go in. Please, just have it. How is he? Ryan, you're in the way. I'll talk to you as soon as I can. <laughs> Ryan, out. You have got to sit down, okay? Thank you. You've got to listen to me. We've got to get our story straight. What? What happened tonight? What really happened can't go any further than us. What are you Do saying? Do you understand me? What are Not you... one word, Frankie. Do you understand me? Not one word. Why Lorna didn't show up? What difference does it make? I wanted to talk to her about the band we auditioned. Oh, well, I like them. Yeah, but she's the boss. I don't know if Matthew, you like them. Matthew, you're the boss. Yeah, but... You and Dean. Yeah, but she's the expert. Don't you trust your own judgment anymore? Yeah, sure I do. Well, sometimes it doesn't really seem like it. Listen, I'd be stupid if I didn't ask an expert for advice, right? Matt, you and Dean... You guys know just as much about rock music as some little yuppie music company executive. Come on, where is all this coming well, it's from? it's like she's got you under her spell or something. You don't like Lorna very much, do you? I like Lorna fine. Yeah, right. Matt, look, it's not easy to like somebody that treats you as if you're totally invisible, okay? She does that to you. You know that she does. Jenna, what has she done to you? I just told you. Why are we fighting about this? I don't know. Can we stop? Sure. Matt? Mm hmm. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Shouldn't Dean have some say in what band to hire? What? I mean, it is his music. Yes, Jenna, I do want Dean's input. Well, then how come he wasn't here when Rascal auditioned? <laughs> I tried to reach him. Yeah, but you didn't, and you went ahead and listened to the band anyway, and now you're more concerned about Lorna not being here than Dean. Wait a minute, what are you getting at? I'm getting at the fact that Dean is the musician, Matt. Are you saying I don't know anything about music? No! Has Dean said anything to you about this? About what? Like I don't involve him enough? No, you know? Dean and I haven't talked about this at all. Yeah. Are they still here? They who? What? Rascal. No, they left. I made a tape of their audition. Let me know what you think. So you went ahead without me? Yeah, I couldn't reach you. Man. <laughs> I, I, it was important that you hear them tonight or something, or what? Lorna said it was the only Lorna, thing we Lorna, could do Lorna it. can kiss me. Hey, hey, just cool it, will you? <sighs> I know those guys. I know Rascal. I heard them play before in Chicago, hey, man. I, I remember. That's why I thought it would be okay if you didn't hear them. What is this? What is going on here tonight, all I right? I your message, man. I freaked, okay? Well, I, stop I, freaking I... out. Everything is okay. All right. I, all right. I guess you're right. I. I. I... I thought it was important. I, I don't know. I... What's the matter with you? You don't like it when I pick on your boyfriend? Dean, shut up. Okay. Oh. Hey, Matt. Yeah? There's a van parked outside, and a bunch of guys are unloading guitars and stuff. There is? Yeah. Let me see. That's Wild August. Wild August? I know those guys, too. You got them to audition for us? Oh, hey, yeah, Matt can do something right, huh? Hey, you guys ready for us? Yes, hey, yes, we are. How are you? Tell Anything you, guys... you need, you tell me. I'm, I'm Dean Frame. Okay. Nice to meet you. This is Matt Corey. Hey, this is Jenna right here. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Where's Lorna? Where's Lorna? Uh, that's a very good question. Matt, where's Lorna? I don't know. She's supposed to be here. <sighs> something must have come up. Don't you want me to say about what happened tonight? You can't let anyone know exactly what happened down in the docks. Detective Harrison, do you know what is going on here? Yes, I do. I'm waiting at Tufts to have dinner with Grant, your brother. And I get this urgent call to come down here to handle the press. What's going on? Who's been hurt? My brother. What? 
Well, what, what, what happened? Was there an accident? He's been shot, Iris. No, I don't believe it. He was down on the waterfront. Well, what was he doing on the waterfront? I talked to him not two hours ago. Is, is he badly hurt? He took two shots to the gut. It's, it's, oh. it's not good. Oh, oh no. Who would, who would do that? Did you find him? Mrs. Wheeler. Mrs. Wheeler. Yes. Is it true Congressman Harrison was shot to death? Nobody is dead, Larry. No. You heard it happen on the waterfront? What was he doing there? There will be no formal statement issued until we know if Congressman Harrison's condition. You're Congressman Harrison's brother, aren't you? Yeah, Look, that's right. guys, there is nothing to report, okay? You should go back outside and wait. Yes, she's absolutely right. Please wait outside. I will give a formal statement when Was this necessary. an assassination attempt, uh, Detective Harrison? I have no idea. Oh, come on. Come on, Detective. Uh, who shot your brother and why? I said, I have no idea. Jamie? Forgive me if I'm having a little trouble swallowing this idea. Uh, Jamie, I know this comes as a shock. But, but what? I mean, why are all of you acting like this is the most normal thing in the world? Jamie, it all happened very suddenly. Wait, you're not pregnant, are you? Jamie! Then why would she be marrying this guy? Because we're in love. Mom! Rachel! Rachel. Mom! Are you okay? Uh, don't panic. Jamie! Anybody. Jamie! I'm, I'm glad you're here. Look, your mom got hit on the back of the head. Come here, sit her down. You had to go down there. She was unconscious All by yourself. One way this to welcome me night. back. Come here. Well, this is your second surprise of the evening. Ow. Yeah. We were so worried, Rachel. What happened? I got mugged. Oh, no. I knew it! Look, Follow my finger. Yeah, I'm all good. Right. Good. No, no. Tell me exactly where it hurts. It it hurts on my neck, and don't you dare touch it. It's uh, killing me. All right. Any double vision? A little bit, but it's fine now. What about nausea? Don't ask. Did you find her, Michael? Yeah, I did. Well, did you see the guy who did it? No, I didn't. But there was this guy that was standing there, right in front of me before Michael got to me. Did you recognize him? No, I was having trouble focusing, and. Uh, and then Michael came in and he, he left. What, are you sure it wasn't Michael? Yeah. Or whoever it was, I had this feeling that I was in danger. Hi, I taped the opera off the public broadcasting station. It needs to be rewound. She saw me. Who saw you? Rachel Corey looked right through me. Well, where were you? I tell you, I was standing right in front of her. As near as I am to you now. She didn't say a word. She just... But she looked straight at me. Did you kill her? No, I'd already disposed of the gun when I took care of our quizzling. Well, who was he? You'd never believe it. Well, is he dead, Carl? I didn't stick around for the prognosis, dear. I have never seen you like that. Well, how do you expect to see me? I've been placed at the scene of a crime. Well, I'll be your alibi. You've been here with me all evening long. You're a dear heart, but you're not very smart, are you? Excuse me? No one must know of our connection. No one, I repeat that. No one! It'll blow your cover for DNM. Oh, well, that's the least of my worries right now, Carl. Now, why didn't Rachel send for the police? Why didn't she? Why aren't the police knocking down my door? I don't right even now? believe this is happening. What are we going to do? Bella? Sent from the gods. Bella, what a lovely surprise. I'll be with you straight. Is the tape of the opera rewound? No, not yet. But what are you doing? Our prayers may have been answered, Lorna. That's my alibi out there in the hallway. What are you talking about? Now, come on, you. Off you go, out the back way. And don't return for some time, all right? Someone always looks after me, Lorna. Have you noticed that? Of course. Carl, are you all right? Yes, Bella. Yes, I'll be right there. Go on, on your bike. I'm coming. Just a minute. One second. Don. What have you been doing? Well, what a lovely surprise. And don't you look grand. I was, I was so involved with this production of, of Tosca. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, you'll like this. Look, this is, uh, this is one of my favorite bits coming up. And here you are. To share it with me. 
<laughs> Let me get you a drink. Here we are, my dear. It's a live broadcast from New York. You're looking wonderful. Cheers. I don't like that your vision was blurred, Ma. It's much better, thank you, honey. Did you check your purse, Rachel? What? Your purse, to see if anything was missing. No. No, I didn't. It's in the hall. I'll get it. I'll go with you. Rachel, in the car on the way over here, you said that uh, you heard some men talking? Yes. I thought it was you with the developers. I, I didn't understand what they were saying. Th that's why you called out my name? That's the last thing I remember. Rachel? Here's your purse. Yeah. Thank you. Well, nobody took anything. It's right here, money, credit sure? cards, everything, uh-huh. Yeah, well, you know, it sounds to me like you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> they definitely weren't after your money. Somebody didn't want you to know that they were there and something was going on and you were in the way. I just wanted Turn to Turn on the television. Why? Why? Hilda has the radio on in the kitchen. Grant Harrison has been shot. Let's open these IVs all the way. Call the lab. I want some blood down here. Stat. Tell them not to bother to cross match it. I'll call the blood bank. Stat. Get a hold of the OR. I want a room as soon as they've got one. Come on, Grant. It didn't save your life to have you die on me like this. We feel Congressman Harrison is in very good hands with Dr. John Hudson. Oh, those ridiculous charges that were leveled against him were dropped early this evening. We are very fortunate to have someone of Dr. John Hudson's background. to explain this to me. Why do you want me to lie about what happened tonight? Until I get a chance to talk to Grant, no one can know that he is Signet. I understand, but think about it, Ryan. I don't have to think about it. The press is going to say that Grant is still alive. Someone will be able to take another shot at him unless you tell the authorities. I will take care of my brother, okay? Someone's going to figure it out. Someone's going to wonder what we were doing down on the docks while Grant was being shot. I'm not going to blow the whistle on my brother and screw over his entire career. Not until he regains consciousness. Not, not until I have a chance to talk to him. Okay. Okay. So, Ryan, what do you want me to say? Captain. Heard about your brother. I'm very sorry. Thanks. Now, I want you to tell me exactly what went down on those docks tonight. Really have no idea what happened, Billy. Are you sure? Grant's name's been in the paper an awful lot lately. There's been word that he might be running for Senate. Figured somebody didn't want that to happen. Will you mind telling me how you managed to be on the waterfront when your brother was shot with her? I needed to check something out down there, and I asked Ryan if he would go with me. It wasn't official police business, Billy. I know, it couldn't have been, because you're on suspension. And you wouldn't dream of violating that suspension, or you could lose your badge for good. Right? That's right. How'd you find him? We heard shots, ran towards where they were fired, and found Grant lying there. Dressed in workman's clothes and a hat, I'm told. Yep. Funny. A United States representative hanging out around the raw waterfront dressed like you a know, The only thing that I'm worried about right now is whether my brother is going to die in that room I back know, there. I know, Ryan. I know. Okay? I think Ryan needs a minute, and you can give him that, don't you think, Captain? Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. How is he? I have to get him into surgery right away. It's bad, isn't it? He's lost a lot of blood. If you'd like to, you can go and see him for a few minutes. He's not conscious, is he? No. Come on, I'll go with you. Your Ryan's not telling me something. What do you mean? And you know what it is. What we do know is that Congressman Harrison has been shot twice. He's being prepped for surgery as we speak was found on the waterfront by his brother, Detective Ryan Harrison of the Bay City PD. The hospital has You're not right? yet released an official statement on the congressman's condition, nor has the police said if they know who is responsible for the shooting. But we do expect an update at any moment. Excuse me, Captain Cooper, do you have anything to tell us? Well, I have something to tell you, I'll let you know. As you can see, do you... Do you think that's what I walked into, Michael? Absolutely. 
Elena, do you want to go to the hospital? I'll take you. I think that's a good idea. Are you all right, honey? I'm just worried. Hey. Hey. It's all right. Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure she gets back. Hey. She's really shaken up. She cares about Grant. Maybe more than you think. Bravo. You see, that's why the arts are so important in our affairs. That was wonderful. Yes, it's very powerful. And normally I don't place Tosca in the category of one of my favorite operas, but, but this production, well, I'll never forget how moved I've been by this production. Yes, it was very enjoyable. Do you, uh... So... Do you ever watch these uh, live broadcasts from New York? You really should, you know. 7 to 9 p.m. on Tuesday evenings. Isn't it later than 9? How would you know what the time is, my dear? You never wear a watch and, and, you're always late. I have a very good sense of time. Not in bed, you don't. Nah, it's after... Forgive me, Alec. You've indulged me in my passion for Puccini. And I've neglected you. You came here to talk to me about something very specific, didn't you? Yes. I want you to tell me what you know about corporate takeovers. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, branching out, are we? I hope so. I own a lot of the Hudson Group. Bella, are you thinking of buying dear Michael's company? Oh, no. My dear, that is a delicious thought. Well, I'm just investigating at the moment. You see, I have found out that Michael is bidding on a very large chunk of real estate on the waterfront, yeah. but I'm not sure what that will do to the value of my stock. Well, Michael is bidding at present against Spencer Harrison for that waterfront property. You know about that? My job to know about these things, Bella. Well, tell me what you know. Well, nothing's absolutely settled yet, but it does look as if Harrison's deal will go through if it hasn't already. Where's the remote? What? The remote. There's a news financial program on at 9 o'clock every no. night, and we might Bella. hear something. Pella, not now. Why Look, not... not now? I love this program. It fascinates me. Again, to recap, Congressman Grant Harrison was gunned down this evening on the docks of the Bay City waterfront. His condition has not been released, but I've heard from a staff member who spoke only on the condition of anonymity that the congressman is in very grave condition and is on his way into emergency surgery. However, let me repeat... Yeah, no, it really is shocking, you know. I mean, it's another random act of violence, and this time it's against a public figure. Ryan must be frantic. Mm, well, there's one good thing. What? Well, at least no one can blame me for this crime. <clears throat> These guys would like to play today, soon, sometime. Yeah, I'm waiting for Lorna, right? That's fine, but she's late, man, okay? And I don't want to have some lousy relationship with a potential backup band because the money lady's out getting her fingernails done or something, okay? You're the one who thought Lorna was our ticket, all right? Yes, that's fine, man, but uh, that doesn't mean she has... That doesn't mean she has creative control over our company, right? Matt, listen, Matt. Why don't you just let these guys play, okay? And then you can record them for Lorna just like you recorded Rascal for Dean. Thank you, right. Thank five more minutes, all right? Just five more minutes. Hey, guys. Great to see you. You all set to go? It was two minutes. You got it. I'm sorry, I kept you waiting. Where have you been? Working. You know, you missed the first band. The second band is waiting for over an hour for you. Do I see a lecture coming on? Yeah, maybe. Well, you're not my only client, Matthew. Don't forget it. <laughs> what is up with those two? I wish I knew. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap at you. No, no it's okay, I just... <laughs> I want you to be here. Is there anything else you'd like me to be? Lorna, I... Don't worry. I don't want Jenna and Dean to know about us any more than you do. Yeah, you know, this is not the time or the place to talk about this, but what happened can never happen again, all right? Oh, Matthew. It can happen. The question is whether you're going to let it. Well, listen, I... Matt would not fall for any of that stuff, Jenna. Yeah, well, I... he's been acting really weird the last few days, Dean. Weird how? How weird? I don't know. Distant. Distant. You know, I don't want to sound mean or anything, but I know how busy he's been. 
And I know how worried he is about finances. Yeah. But last night, he just... I don't... That's something that I want to do. I'm, I'm sorry about last night at Sassy's. I, I, I was a jerk, all right? Why did you do that? Hey, Lori, uh, you ready for this? Go to it. All right. Okay, I'm going to tape this, guys, all right?
Why would anyone think you would shoot Grant Harrison? Better. If somebody doesn't curb their dog, your future son-in-law wants an accounting of my whereabouts. But tonight you have nothing to worry about. Obviously, we were here. Yes, we were, weren't we? You know, you'll never know how happy I was to see you this evening. I was very sad. Lonely. The opera made me sad. Mm. I'm thinking I should go to the hospital to be there for Ryan. You know, since your work in the free clinic, you've become a proper Florence Nightingale. You deserve the OBE. Now, Carl, I know you and Ryan don't get along very well. Well, I'm fond of him. He's very good to Victoria. Mm -hmm. Except lately he's been getting a little too friendly with Frankie Frame. I wonder if she's over there with him. I could find out for you. But for now, look, let, let others take care of the Harrisons. I want to know all about your plans and how you're going to make Michael's life miserable. Oh! All right. The divorce lawyer you recommended, who is, by the way, wonderful. Only the best for you, Marta. He doesn't think it's a good idea for me to get involved in Michael's business affairs. You know, Bella, you really did miss your calling. Why? You, my dear, have the courage to take risks. And in business as in life, there can be no gain unless you're willing to take a chance. Then you think I should continue to block the purchase of this property? Absolutely. If nothing else, for the nuisance value. You're right. You're right. Do me a favor. What? Don't mention to Michael or to anyone else that you turn to me for advice on these matters. I don't care what anybody no, 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 thinks. Bella, I know, I know, I know your willfulness. I know you don't care what other people think. But trust me, in, in deals like this, my involvement could be the kiss of death. Oh. So let's keep it between ourselves, eh? All right. All right. Good. And we'll be, uh... We'll be partners again. <laughs> In silence. I'd really like to get Ryan a cup of coffee, Captain. You're avoiding me. I am not avoiding you. I just don't take kindly to harassment. Oh, you call this harassment? Trust me, lady, you ain't seen nothing yet. I don't know why you think it's so weird that I was with Ryan tonight. I have been on your payroll for months now. The, Detective Harrison is on suspension. Oh, I see. So that means he's not allowed to take a walk with a private investigator at oh, night? Oh, now you're taking a walk, huh? I thought you were investigating something and asked him to come along. I said that, didn't I? I don't like having my chain pulled, Miss Frame. I can see that. I'll remember that for future I events. am going to get to the truth. Now, it might not be tonight and it might not be tomorrow, but I'm going to get to it. And then I'm going to get you. Fine. Is that all you can say? Fine? What else am I supposed to say? Come straight with me, Frankie. Don't protect Harrison. I am not protecting him. His brother is dying. We found Grant lying in a pool of blood, and Ryan held him in his arms, pleading with him not to die. So maybe you can indulge him a little bit tonight and not grill him like some two-bit hood. I know what Ryan is going through. No, you don't. Or we would not be having this conversation. Captain Cooper, the natives are getting restless. I'm in the middle of something here, Mrs. Wheeler. Well, I'm sorry about that, but the reporters have doubled in number and they're asking for a statement from the police. I, I guess that's you. I am not ready to make a statement yet. Fine. Fine. Why don't you tell them? Maybe you could also call some of your men to control the crowd. Is there a problem? No, but there will be if we don't get some help from your department. Captain Cooper, are you coming? We're not through. Oh, surprise. Surprise. <laughs> This wasn't the way that it was supposed to happen. You can't leave without at least giving me an explanation. Oh, don't die on me. Don't let this be the way that we split up. Dr. Hudson. We're on our way. We got an OR. Come on, let's move them. Let's go. Come on, come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Let's go. Grant! No!
Now, promise me. Come on, promise that you're going to go straight on home. I shall. I shall, and thank you for everything. Thank you, Bella. All right, I'll let you know what I hear about the waterfront property. Well, now that I know your interests, I shall do the same. Good. Good night. Good night, my guardian angel. Who, me? Oh, yes. Yes, you. I was very lonely before you came, but you showed me that there's... I must always have hope. And it is nice to have a few friends. Spend the time with. Please come back soon. I will. Good night. There's no sign of any... just work. Well, there's no sign of any police, Carl. Nothing at all. There's something very strange going on. I looked straight into Rachel Corey's eyes. And she into mine. And yet here I am. Among my souvenirs at home and free. <laughs> For the life of me. I've no idea why. <laughs> Come on. Let's go to bed. Rachel, I want you to promise me. Promise me you're going to go to the hospital tomorrow. Michael, you know ja Jamie's going to drag me there. You know that. <sighs> I, uh, look, I just feel so responsible. Well, you don't have to. It's not your fault. I know, but I did. I, it was because of me. Would you wanted stop, to... please? Just tell me how it went with the real estate people. Are you kidding? Talk to you. To... Look, I'll tell you all about it in the morning, all right? If I you get a good night's sleep. This has been sleep. a disastrous evening. I would like to find out whether we can stop Harrison on the waterfront at least. Well, we might. Good. Thank you for that. Now I'll go to bed. <laughs> I'll call you in the morning, okay? Okay, thanks for your help. All right. So, how are the babies? They're both sound asleep. Good. That's where I'm going to be. I'm right? waking you up every hour on the hour. Don't you dare. Why? You think I have a concussion? Yes, I do. Now go to bed. I'll see you in an hour. This is how children get their revenge, you know. Go. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks again, Michael. You're worried, aren't you? Yes, a little. Jamie, why don't you tell Michael of news about Marley? Molly, Vicky, oh yeah, how are they? Yeah, they're great. The doctors are very optimistic about this new treatment. Terrific. I've got to give them a call first thing in the morning. Do that. They'd like it. Yeah. Look, if you need anything at all, you give me a call. Thanks, Michael. Thank right. you very much. Good night. Good night. Wonder how Paulina is doing. She's okay? Probably not. Well, you know, you're going to hate this, but I have to admit, I think it was very nice of Jake to offer to take her to the hospital to see Grant. Oh, he's a great guy, that Jake. Jamie, at least he's trying to change. Well, obviously, he's still not changed enough. Why do you say that? Because if he had, I don't think Paulina would still be in love with Grant. She's not in love with Grant. She's worried about somebody that she cares about. You can call it whatever you want, Amanda. Paulina was not crying for an old flame tonight. She was crying for the man she loves. The only man she loves. Seen Billy since I left? He's outside with her somewhere. He came down on me pretty hard, Ryan. He knows that we're keeping something from him. I'm sorry I can't say anything yet. Okay. I'm sorry that you have to lie, too. I just can't think of anything else to do right now. Damn it! It didn't have to be this way. I, I got angry. I shoved Grant around. I got distracted. 
Don't make this your fault. No, I sh I shouldn't have let him been there. I, sh I should have known that it should have known that it was dangerous. I should have grabbed him by the collar. I should have thrown him into the car. I should have brought him to a place where he could have been protected. And I should have let him have it for being involved with Hutchins. Oh, gee, what now? I just said the uh, reporters are getting antsy. Just hey, get your with... hands off me, oh. all right? Oh, no. I want to see my son. You know him? Just barely. That's my father. Couldn't just let it go, could you? Get your hands off of me. What have you done to your brother? 